Great to see you. All the twists and turns and all the craziness and all that uh, kind of stuff. I feel great. You know, you want to come out with a win. You're sitting there and, uh, you know, I'm wondering if this thing's going to tie because that's that would have been a terrible way to end the game. So, uh, you know, happy we came out with the victory. Um, happy the way we played. Uh, it's a really, really good win going into the bye week. After they got hit in the overtime in the short field, what was that conversation like before you guys went out there? Uh, it's just, you know, be focused and, and understand, you know, we still had, uh, you know, it's not like they were in field goal range. You know, all we had to do was get them off the field and get the offense the ball back and we were going to be good. So, you know, I felt like um, that was our mindset the whole game. We just wanted to, uh, to prove, you know, we were the best defense on the field uh, today. And um, it, it was really on our mindset because we understood, you know, what everybody was thinking uh, because of the last two weeks. So, um, you know, we felt like we played really well. How were you seeing to make such drastic improvements compared to the last six quarters you played? I just think, you know, guys were locked in. Uh, we played a lot more discipline. Uh, and, and it was just a mentality. You know, we wanted to be great. We understood um, the matchup that we had. You know, we had a, you know, we were going against, you know, that their defense was considered the best defense, and uh, we wanted to try to show otherwise. What was it like seeing Jadevian do what he did tonight? It was amazing, man. You know, we watched it in practice all the time. You know, and in the games, you know, he was he was getting close. He just hadn't, you know, got, got to the quarterback. So to finally see him, Jay Reed, uh, all those guys get to the quarterback, um, you see how it helped us in the back end. He almost had that, that pick on the final drive. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. I, I hope that he put his hand in so I could say that because Sherman was giving me trash about it. But, uh, uh, you know, I got to come down with that. But, you know, I'm happy we won. Did Diggs play a lot of you guys to go more single high? Um, um, we still mixed it up pretty well. We, we did, a, a, you know, single high, but we did some cover too. But, you know, his range, uh, we started at practice. His range is, is you know, he's red line to red line. Um, and you can see even on the pick where he came from to get the pick, uh, he definitely adds another playmaker in the back end. is going to allow us to do a lot more things once he gets acclimated to the system because uh, he's just getting here. What changed off the game plan after the first couple drives? Um, nothing really changed. It's just we felt like uh, the first drive we were we were giving them giving them stuff. Yeah, it was penalties every time we, we kind of got off the field. It was a penalty and it was you know it was hurting us and so. We just had to make sure, you know, we, we locked in and, and, you know, just stopped giving them stuff. It was, it was picks. It was, it was uh, you know, a penalty here, offsides, um, you know, maybe a, a, a lack of leverage or whatever. But, you know, once we kind of, you know, settled down and, and did our thing, we were good. It's mushy, touchy-feely stuff, but how much does supporting your kicker last week after the Tampa game, believing at the end tonight if you got the ball back here, we're going to win, how much do you think that actually matters at the end? It's important. You know, I think uh, when you watch the kickers and they miss a field goal, everybody in the world gets to see them miss a field goal and everybody in the world uh, gets to get on them. But with us, like when, when we miss a tackle or we miss a block or we miss a th people might miss that. And so it's important to, to let them know that uh, you know, we all mess up. And just like you have our back, we have his back. And he came through for us. And I think that support helped him, um, you know, with the kicks today. What was the celebration like with Jason in the locker room? Say it again? The, the celebration with Jason. Pete said something about you guys carrying him around, carrying him around or something like that. Oh, I, didn't, uh, I didn't say I had got in late. I was too busy talking trash to uh, Sherm. We had, we had a little bet, so. You had a bet, you said? Yeah, we had a little bet. Uh, Lakers game. Going to Laker. Nah, <laughs> not when you go with Sharon. Anything else? Uh, just, I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing about when's the pass rush going to get going, when's the pass rush going to get going, and now tonight, I mean, 10, 10 quarterback hits, five sacks. Um, how nice is that? A little bit to see that get going. It, it's really nice. You know, when, when they're doing the things that they're doing, it allows us to do a lot of things in the back end. And, you know, you saw he start rushing some of his throws. And, you know, when he has that pressure and they applying that pressure, not only applying the pressure, but, you know, forcing them to get the ball, getting the ball away. You know, we had a score. We had a, you know, a couple of strips and, and it's, it just ignites our whole team. And it's just, uh, you know, makes our team complete when that happens. And, and we knew it was coming. It's just a matter of time. And, and uh, it finally came. Thank you. Appreciate you guys.